You're always right now. It's always here. You can't go. You can, in a way, you can see it's one dimensional. Because you can't go anywhere else outside of right now. Even if you time travel, you still time travel in right now. It's always happening right now. And if you're worrying about your past, it's happening. I mean, if you have regrets about your past, it's happening right now. Right now is the only reality we have. Right now is the only thing we have. Here and now. Here and now is the only thing exists, the only thing has ever existed, and is the only thing would ever exist. Here and now. Why is it so difficult for us to accept this? Why is it so difficult to accept that here and right now is the only thing that there is and there's nothing else? The rest of it is a projection of the mind. Now, Let's go a little deeper because it's been my experience as a teacher that, that I come across a lot of people and they're very consumed by their story, okay? The, the story, okay? They've been possessed by an entity, some kind of spirit or evil entity has taken them over or they have their victim. How many of us are victims, been victims, or we've gone into this victim place, or we go to this victim place that we've been cheated, we've been screwed over by a partner, by a vicious partner, whether it's in a love relationship area or it's business relationship, or it's the parents. Oh, my, my mom was very abusive. My mom is very angry and she was always yelling at me or my dad was always yelling at me and that's why I am like that. And I'm angry and I'm yelling at other people. Uh, my parents abandoned me and I'm dealing with this abandonment issue. I've been sexually abused and uh, so I have a lot of issues around sexuality. I've been always shut down by my parents and whatever is the story, the story keeps going. I can tell you a million different variations and I'm sure you can add up a lot of different variations of stories to it too. But there's a way that you can really free yourself from your story and you can free yourself from this victim thing that we we all have suffered from it or we still do suffer from it is a is the awareness consciousness awareness comes light comes into the darkness but before I go any further, I have to understand that at one point in your life, you have to take responsibility. At one point in your life, you have to say to yourself, enough is enough. And I want to go beyond this loop, this loop that the mind plays, this loop that the mind takes you to the past or takes you to the future. And you buckle up and you shape up and you say, okay, I want to be free. I want to become free of my story. Whatever is your story is, 
you know, whatever is your story. Maybe your story is a financial story that you always broke. You never make it. Maybe your story is physical that you don't, you never get healthy and you're never in shape. Uh, maybe your story, you know, is about relationship. Um, I never find the partner I want or everybody, everybody seems like, you know, they take me for granted or whatever is the story. The, the story, the content of the story is in, unimportant. It's only important to you. But nobody else really cares about it. So, which remind me to talk about this, this part of the story is important to you and no one cares about it. If I forget about it, just remind me because it's very important to really uh, become aware of this. But let me talk about the victim story. Talk about that things have happened to you. Now, when you, when the awareness comes, when you finally get to this point that you're like enough is enough and I want to become free is the first step that you arrive and which is a very, very big step that finally the self awakening self-realization me mechanism has kicked in and there's an awareness that this awareness from projecting to the outside looking at i'm just giving an example up to this moment this awareness is looking outside and blaming for example donald trump for everything which is wrong in the world blaming your local government or the Illuminati or the evil corporations for every, anything is wrong. Blaming the big corporations for bringing 5G. Uh, bl blaming big corporations for polluting the water, polluting the ocean and everything, the air. Uh, oil companies that manipulating and creating a lot of wars all of these things, and I'm not saying this, these things do not exist or they don't happen, um, but that's not the subject of what I'm talking about. The subject of what I'm talking about is for the person blaming the world for everything which is wrong. So the attention is on the other world. And then when the self-awakening mechanism starts to kick in, and you start to become aware of yourself, which is, and your attention starts to divert inwards, which is a huge part of your ev evolutionary awakening, is that you're finally are willing or somehow through the grace of God existence you are starting to look at yourself and paying attention and stop blaming everything else and really looking at yourself and seeing that, okay, maybe, maybe something's wrong with me. Maybe my point of view is wrong. Maybe I'm not looking at this correctly. Maybe there is something I need to learn that I keep facing all these things. 